people across America participated in the National Day of Prayer today. 41 NBC's Peyton Lewis visited a church in Warner Robins that prayed for Middle Georgia. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you. We thank you all for this privilege that we are together together again another year. After more than a year of distance gatherings, people in Warner Robin. Our top story tonight at 6, it's National Mental Health Awareness Month and local organizations are finding ways to bring free mental health services to seven Macon neighborhoods. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller tells us how Macon Head Space is doing just that. The Mental Health Matters initiative is kicking off Saturday with the Mental Health Pop-Up Gym. Organizers say the Mental Health Pop-Up Gyms are a way to introduce mental health to disadvantaged areas. Nancy Cleveland is the executive director and founder of Macon Headspace. She says the mental health pop-up gym happening Saturday at Fillmore Thomas Park is meant to promote free mental health services coming to the recreation centers. The event starts at 8 a.m. and goes until 4 p.m. It will include chances to interview therapists, yoga, meditation, poetry, and more. Making Headspace is here to help you make Headspace in whatever way you see fit, whether it be therapy, aromatherapy, yoga, meditation, drumming, even just sitting in silence. I'm not sure what it is, but we're here to teach you about those techniques so you can take it home and create your own formula. Cleveland says she lived in the foster care system from two months old until she was three years old because her mom struggled with drug and alcohol addiction. When Cleveland moved back to Macon, she was able to get adult legal guardianship of her mom. Cleveland says that has helped keep her mother clean for three years. By creating Macon Headspace and programs like the pop-up, she hopes to help people like her mom. I'm hoping programs like this will kind of give me a, a healing and make me move from just being a victim to an advocate and also just make it easier for people who are going through something to find the resources that they need. CEO and therapist at the Southern Center for Choice Theory, Gloria Cisse says it's important to bring free mental health services into neighborhoods that don't have access to them. She says community violence, poverty, and discrimination contribute to mental illness. Having people who are in neighborhoods that may where they, they may not have access to resources, learn, have ex, actual ac, access to these kind of activities, really increases their the likelihood that they will accept them and participate in them. Macon Mental Health Matters will target seven areas that have higher crime and lower income and lower insured adults. There will be things like parenting classes and therapy. CSA says access to free services like that are needed. And we'll be running those services, well, the, the plan is at least for the next year and hopefully beyond. So people will have access to no cost, truly no cost mental health services. In Macon, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. And more mental health pop-up gyms will open in the future as well as access to free services at local community centers. To register for the event this Saturday, go to MakingMentalHealthMatters.com. It's came together to pray. And where you are, we shall be also. Let us walk in the hope of that today. First United Methodist Church opened its doors for the National Day of Prayer. People of different religions and denominations were welcome to pray for local communities, our state, and the nation. Our country needs hope, and I think a meeting like today certainly, to me, would bring hope. Warner Robins Mayor Randy Toms stepped up to the microphone to pray for Middle Georgia and its first responders. Lord, I thank you that even though the world around us seems to be in chaos, you have never lost control. The prayers were organized into 12 sections, covering everything from families to the entertainment industry. Emily Dennis organized the event and says she hopes people felt a sense of togetherness and healing. I think one of the reasons today was so special is because it's the first time many of us have come together. I have en enjoyed uh, the opportunity to pray with others, but I have been so ministered and blessed by the prayers of others. Doctors Michael and Kendra Holmes attended the service to pray over cultural and social issues. Kendra Holmes says she hopes everyone felt a sense of hope and peace. I hope something was heard, whether it was from us or from one of the others who came forth to pray, that just uplifted someone's spirit and gave them the knowledge and the understanding and the courage to know that one more step, one more day. In Warner Robins, Peyton Lewis, 41, NBC News.